Hello and welcome to my Delphi video blog. Today we talking about simple animations done with FireMonkey. Perhaps you make also videos and need sometimes a simple animation for your video. Some of you know perhaps that my second passion besides Delphi programming is making music and I've written a song called On Mission to Mars with a start of a, a rocket at the beginning and there I need a simple countdown uh, but that was hard to find or too expensive to buy and I need a special countdown only beginning uh, from five. So um, I've done it by myself uh, with Delphi and FMX. I show you just short seven seconds of it. Five, four, three, two, one, zero, lift off. Okay, this was the animation and we open it in Delphi and I will show you how it was done. So here on the left side you can see the structure of the project. I've created first a multi-device uh, application, have made form a little bit bigger like this. And the form, I used um, another color for the uh, background. You go here over fill and color. So then I inserted a an T layout and I simply aligned it with the anchor properties. And in this layout I put a plot grid and here I changed some values so that only the cross is visible and not the tick marks beside this. That you can reach if you change this value here to 5000 for the marks and uh, also for the frequency you can set it to 5000 and then you have only the cross visible and the plot grid uh, was aligned to client. In this plot grid I put this circle and this has this size and set to center for the alignment. The stroke I have set to white. I have set the stroke width to 15. After that I inserted a T text. This has a uh, a size of 240 and is also aligned to centered. And for the text settings I changed also here the font color to white. And at the starting point I set the value to 5. After that I inserted a round rect, T round rect. Make it a little bit smaller to change the color here. Uh, by simply clicking this form and selecting the color. Set the stroke thickness to zero. Put it just here to this position. Set the height to 1000. And I set also the rotation angle to zero and the rotation center to one and x to 0 0.5. As a result of this, when we're setting the epsilon value to 1, we have here the center, though it goes from here round, and this is the center of the movement. Yeah, and then I've created here a float animation. That is this one. And here I have set the following values. The duration is 1, so 1 second loop for true so that every one second it repeats one round start value to zero and stop value to 360 degrees so that it once turned around and enable to fault so that it doesn't directly start when it begins so and then i inserted a timer and in the timer i activate in the first timer event the float animation set this enabled if it wasn't enabled and the text I change the value of the number I subtract one so and if the text reach zero the timer enabled is false and the animation is also set to false. In the show event we simply enabled the timer. So when we run it here 
we have this simple countdown that I've recorded with a simple screen recorder and then I've imported in my it in my video program and I have this wonderful countdown at the beginning of the song. Here in the description of this video you find the download link for this little demo here and also um, a link to the video of the song. Yeah, that was all for today. I hope this short video gives you some impressions or ideas what one can do with simple FireMonkey animations. Bye bye.